Hey everybody, in this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to delete data from a table. So right now we're inserting a bunch of books. We're inserting one here at line 10, and then we're inserting more in this section right here. So when we select everything from the books table, this is what we get. We get a list of a bunch of books, two of which are the same, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But for now, I'm gonna be teaching you how to delete one of these. So what we do is we say c.execute, where c is the cursor. And the SQL to do this is delete from, and then the table name. So we're trying to delete from books. And I recommend you say where, and now put some condition such as title being equal to, let's go with, are you my mother? And end that quote there. So when we do this, this is actually going to delete all of them that meet this condition. So it's going to delete both of these. So to show you that, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to first commit this. So we'll say con.commit, execute that, and then I'm going to select everything from the books table again. So paste that down here. All right, so run this. First time, this is what we had, then we deleted, and this is what we're left with. So are you my mother's not in there at all? But at least you know how to delete now. But let's see what else we could do. Well, with these books, there's actually a row column that we're not seeing here. So if you wanna see that, you could say, let's go up here actually and say, select row ID comma title. So you can be more specific on what you're trying to get back. You could also do pages here if you want, but just to show you guys, we could leave that off and just have row ID and title. In running this, you can see that each one of these now has a number and that is stored in the table. It's it's an auto incrementing number known as the ID. It's a very common thing with databases. And this allows us to refer to one of these very specifically. So if we wanted to delete this one, what we could do is we could say where row ID is equal to and set it to two, like so. And also, it's probably obvious by now, but notice that when we're doing a comparison in SQL, we use a single equals. If we were trying to do the similar thing in Python, we would use the double equals for comparison. So use a single equals with SQL. So run this now, and we have effectively deleted one of the Are You My Mother books. So that is how you delete from a table. And now we're going to be talking about a very important thing, because if you take a look at all of our code, everything is hard coded in here. How would we generalize this to work with data that the user types in or anything like that? How do we use variables? And it's really important that you pay attention in the upcoming sections because if you do it wrong, you can actually make your data exposed to some common threats. So we don't wanna do that. So pay attention and stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to take this up a notch. Stay tuned and please be sure to subscribe.